Hi everybody, my name is Anne. Thanks for joining me on Art on the Creek. It is the weekend, which means it's time for another review. Today, I wanna to review something that many of you have seen. You may already have one, but I wanna show you kind of a before and after what happens to these over time. And if you're thinking of getting one, maybe this will help you make that decision more clear. We are going to review fan palettes today. Great for travel, but are they worth it? Let's go find out. Well, let's dive right in. Here are the products we're going to be using today. I have this cute little sketchbook with Sheba's on it, and it's five inches by five inches. Perfect size to just throw in your pocket or your bag, any uh, backpack or purse. Keep it in your glove box of your car, anything. It's just a nice little size. It's off-white paper, um, has this little elastic loop so that you can keep a pencil handy or water brush, whatever you want to put there elastic loop to close it up and it also has a pocket in the back cover for memorabilia so it's really nice for taking with you and it lays flat which is a big bonus for me um, that inside cover there is not watercolor paper but the rest of it is and it's kind of a cold press texture and i really like that off-white so that was one purchase the other purchase is this fan palette here and that qr code on the back i'll talk about that more in just a second but this is this particular set is marketed by golden maple and they are an art company that uh, they have a website. I'll link to everything in the description below. Their website indicates mostly paintbrushes, uh, but they do they do feature this fan palette with it. And this particular fan palette has 25 colors in it, which is more than enough when you're traveling. You just really don't need too many. You can get them bigger, um, but this one is a really nice size. Now this case, it says it's leatherette. I thought it was real leather when I was working with it. Um, it doesn't smell like vinyl. It kind of smells like leather. So I'm not sure if they mean leatherette in the sense that it's diminutive, a small case, or that it's actually imitation leather. So for those of you that are concerned about vegan products, I just wanted to highlight that because that is a valid concern. Um, but we'll, we'll keep going because there's more places that you can buy these things. These travel brushes are so nice. They come in three sizes of 4, 8, and 12. Look at the point. Now, the 4 has a narrower belly, which is going to make sense because it's a smaller uh, smaller gauge brush. But when we open the big papa here, this is number 12. The point on this one is just as smooth. Now, this one actually, it wiggles a little bit. And I thought it was the ferrule that was loose, but it's actually this cap, the, the part that you take off to make the handle longer. And that wiggles a little, so I don't know if that's going to irritate me or not. I'm going to try and see if I can find a way to make it fit a little more snugly. But this particular one has a little bit of floof on the end of the, the point, but I can trim that off to make it more um, hair-like. Uh, these are amazing, the points of these. Uh, they, they really come to just a singular hair at the end. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but they're just beautiful. And see, this one wiggles a little bit too. So if things like that drive you nuts, be aware, these are not the top quality brushes. You can get many, many types of these, uh, these brushes, but you can see how much this wiggles here. I'll just jiggle it, hold it against something flat there so that you can see how much that wiggles. And it's, it's frustrating. I mean, you know, it, I felt like I was getting something that was a good price, but as with all things in art, it seems, and in life, you do get what you pay for. Now that doesn't mean that these are poor quality products. It just means that these brushes aren't professional grade art supplies. But you know what? That's 100% okay. They're fine. I really enjoyed them. You know, spoiler alert, they work really well and the jiggling really didn't bother me. Um, they're nylon filament, so you could use them with gouache too and uh, work with great confidence. I felt like for a nylon filament brush, they held an awful lot of water. So um, I personally wouldn't use them with gouache, but that is another story. Anyway, here's the, the fan palette. It comes packaged in that uh, acetate box. If after watching this video, you decide, yes, I do want to try one of these fan palettes, um, keep that acetate box. And I'm going to show you why here. The way that I can best show you, I think, is on this one. This is the artsy set that I got 
and it is a different little bit different style it's it fans out but it fans out accordion style so i'm going to pop it open here for you and it does kind of lock in place those hinges it does make a little pop um, that white circle in the center is a finger ring so that you can hold it but as you can see i had to dump off some paint chips that's why you want to keep that acetate box these things do shed a few paint chips but this style this accordion style i prefer it to the fan style um, they are still available, but not by Artsy. I'll put several links down in the description below if you want to see where you can get these. You can get into one of these palettes for under $20. So they're really affordable. They're easy to get. This particular one comes with three water brushes, but yeah, paint shavings. So that's why you want to keep the packaging so that you can have something collect those paint shavings and not have them go in your bag. Now that Artsy one had that paint chart on the back. And I found that I kind of missed that working with the fan palette. Even though the size was smaller on the fan palette, I really like that reference chart because this one, as you can see, it only has the references on the little tabs on the end. It fans out, you've got three mixing spaces, which is really convenient. Um, but when you're using it, it's not as convenient because you always have to be fiddling with it. You need to swatch it out so that you can see what your colors are because unless they're really bright and the light is hitting it just right you really can't tell which color you're going for the paint pans that are closest to the hinge um, you really have to have that particular palette out at a 90 degree angle so that you can maximize your your reach in that particular little pan and i'm it's it's more like an indentation it's not really a pan the one with the accordion style that definitely has pans in it that you can pop those out and that's why i really like it you could refill it if you wanted to this one i think it'd be harder to refill um, but for the price point it's okay the the paint shavings has you know the pigment isn't so precious that you need to save those little shavings and chips that come off um, it's just a factor Here's another factor that I'm going to say really is annoying to me completely, 100%. The cap won't post. It means, I guarantee you, I'm going to lose that cap. That's all there is to it. I'm going to lose it. I know it. This is me. This is something that it's like Murphy's Law with me. If the cap does not go on the end of the pen, I'm going to lose it, whether it's a pen, a brush, whatever it is. Uh, however, <laughs> I like the filament on it. I like the point. Everything looks fine so far. I'm having to squeeze really, really hard to get the water to come out. Harder than usual. Um, water brushes, are they should be really easy to use. And this one, it kind of hurt my thumb to, uh, to squeeze. But then again, I've got pretty severe arthritis in my hands, so that may not be a factor for you. Um, let's just go ahead and I've got some Sharpie laid down here so that I can uh, make a quick sw uh, swatch chart for you. And then I've opened the book to the next page so that both of these sheets that we're looking at here are watercolor paper. Uh, just start with the white. And of course, I'm not expecting it to be opaque at all. If you do want opaque white for your watercolor palette, invest in a tube of gouache and uh, bring that with you um, because you will not get opaque white with a white watercolor. What you can use that for though is to bring any of these colors into the pastel range. So that is a lot of fun to mix and create pastels. Um, the colors, they're vibrant, they're pretty. There's a lot of pluses about these paints. Don't go looking for light fastness because you won't find it. These are, these are paints, the whole purpose of this set for me I think that you would get this if you were looking for something that you just wanted to practice really quick, have it at the ready so that you could just keep something in your sketchbook. Now that second to the last blue that I just did, speaking of the sketchbook, this particular sketchbook lifts really well. So if you have wet paint and you don't like what you did, you can just dab it with a paper towel and lift it right up. And that one got it almost back to white. So I was very pleased with that. The black that comes with this set is a nice black. I wanted to, um, let's water it down just a little bit here and kind of spread it out because I wanted to see if there were any other colors hiding underneath that black to see if it was going to pull uh, toward warm or cool. And it doesn't. It just looks like pure charcoal black. It's a nice coal black color. Um, so yeah, I, I really like the, the palette that you get with these. Now that sponge there that I'm wiping the brush on, that's its intended usage for cleaning your brush. Uh, I learned today when I was fiddling with this that that sponge comes off. It's attached by an extremely strong Velcro. So it sounds like you're ripping something or, uh, you know, tearing something when you're tearing it off, but you're not. You're just lifting up some really 
good quality Velcro. So um, you can just run that sponge under soap and water, let it dry, and then put it back on, which is really convenient. So now let's just do some kind of a rainbow color mix here. I'm just going to take one of the reds, one of the yellows, and one of the blues, and then let's just see what kind of mixes we can get. Now see, I have to think a minute to figure out which number palette I'm on. And once again, that's why I like the other accordion set better because it had that little table already made for me. Um, this one turned out to be kind of a, a little high maintenance for me because I had to keep going back and forth, checking what swatch was where, and it was a lot of reference for me, and I just wanted to paint. You know, you just, you just want to paint, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> Uh, but the paints when you are painting are really fun and I just I can't state that enough these are just fun to work with they rewet easily um, for the price point for what you get it, it, I think it's worth trying okay so this set the travel water brush uh, set that I got it comes again with these 25 paints the water brush and the three travel brushes $25.99 and that is the regular price. Uh, right now, they have a 6% coupon on Amazon. So there is that. If you want to get the accordion style set, that one I was able to find on AliExpress. Now, I have purchased something from AliExpress before, and I've had no problems with it. This particular one is by Superior. I think that's what they mean. That, that That's the brand name. Um, and the accordion palette comes in 18, 38, or 58 colors. It, so you've got an awful lot of options. I, I'll put links to all of these things that I'm kind of mentioning uh, in the description below. So I got mine from Amazon. There's AliExpress that sells the accordion style and another couple sites I've never heard of before, Magnifico and of course Alibaba. I've heard of Alibaba. My, my point in mentioning all of these is no matter where you are in the world, you should be able to find something like this for very little cost, um, relatively speaking anyway, about art supplies that you can get into and try and play with and uh, see if it's something that brings you joy. <laughs> Let's test these brushes here real quick with, the, with just this watching out some red. You can see down there by that fan three uh, bar that I've colored. I, that's, that's the number four brush down there. I didn't film that one. This is the number eight. Both tips do very, very well with detail. Both of them, I would say, are equally honed, if you will, and uh, you could use one or the other or both when you're, when you're traveling. You wouldn't need to use all of them. And I say when you're traveling, you can use these things in your studio. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just they're convenient for travel. So this one is having some issues for me. I don't know if you can see with those leaves. I'm getting a weird stripe down the middle. It's because that tip of the brush is a little bit fuzzy. I think some of the, the filaments on the end got bent or uh, cut off in a funny way. So um, it's kind of so-so right now, but I think if I shape it enough and play with it, I think I can trim it and make it work really well. And in fact, that is what happened. I'm gonna show you here. I hope you can see, cause it's a little bit out of focus, but there's those fuzziness, the fuzziness at the end of it and how one of those filaments kind of bends off to the other direction. If you ever see your brushes doing that, you can just take a, a good pair of scissors and just kind of snip very carefully. You might have to use a magnifying glass, but here's one, this is the number eight and it's working beautifully. You can see that's how it should look is that filament should be really straight and directly parallel with the, the length of the brush. Um, Nothing should be going off in odd directions. And there, once again, is the point of the four. So these are all really, really good brushes. So I'm happy with everything. I'm ready to paint. But before we do, I just want to highlight once again this the paint chipping. Now, all I've done with this particular fan set is that swatching. Um, that was yesterday when I'm filming this. This is the next day. So you can see these. Uh, there's kind of a lot of paint chipping off of here. I don't know, guys, if this is something that bugs you, then maybe this isn't the set that you should get. But I think for what you're getting for the price point, for me, it's not a big deal as long as you just save something to put it in so that those chips right there don't end up all over your pockets or bag. Now this part is obviously sped up considerably. I think I've got it on 20 times the speed, but I wanted you to see just in general, because I think it's fun to watch this faster, actually. <laughs> you can see how the paints act on the paper. I am using the, the brush. When I mentioned in the, the beginning how hard it was to squeeze the water out, um, I found that I was just fine as long as I had water to dip it in as well. So I did come up with a workaround. Um, moving the palette around is annoying, but it's not impossible. So 
definitely the joy of painting has outweighed that little frustration and I'm really enjoying the colors that I can get and mix from this set to make these uh, these roses come out on my page here and I like mixing the greens I liked adding things to them to change the the value of the greens I had no trouble with this and I was having fun I really enjoyed how the water brush uh, really effortlessly made the leaves I had a lot of fun adding leaves to the background and filling those in and I overall I really enjoyed this process so much so that I wanted to do another painting so let me turn the page here and now we'll test out things with those travel brushes that have the caps on them I'll speed this one up again too now this is again with those travel brushes not the water brush and a thousand percent more enjoyable for me personally uh, despite the little wiggling on the cap I really loved it I'm just kind of making this up as we go along here it's just kind of a mountain scene with some uh, rolling foothills in the front I just wanted to paint something for you that would show the cool colors in this set as opposed to the warm colors that I kind of demonstrated in that rose I I didn't test all of the paints in this little 25 set but you can see with these two paintings you could paint just about anything with this set and get a lot of range now to be honest you only need three you only need a red yellow and a blue but um, for those of you who want those convenience colors and boy put me in that group a lot of the time I really like using convenience colors there's nothing wrong with them uh, you can get a lot out of this tiny little set and then you just close it up and put it in your pocket and you're ready to go so for all intents and purposes I think these little fan palette sets are pretty fun I didn't have any problem with it I just want to show you real quick little comparison because this is something I wanted to talk about was uh, the paints themselves now I think these these paints no matter what fan palette you get whether it's this accordion style or the the fan style I think they're white labeled and I don't know who makes them it might be superior not sure but I don't know who makes them I I'm pretty sure though that they are the exact same paints they act the same they look the same they swatch out the same again this particular set that I got from artsy artsy is now making it like a fan like the one pictured on top there um, so that fan palette that I got not this artsy one but the fan one that I used for the roses in the mountains there is a QR code on the back I briefly showed you that in the beginning and I wanted to tell you that again now uh, it links to a Facebook page it's not their Facebook page it is a Facebook page and I think that either it used to be the link to their Facebook page or um, something got corrupted when I looked but it, it went to someone's personal Facebook page so that was a little bit of a mistake um, but that's okay I went ahead and I looked for them on Facebook and they are there they are definitely on Facebook which made me feel a lot better because I can't lie when I googled that uh, Google is that it when I when I looked at that QR code and it took me to this Facebook page it was someone's personal page I thought what have I gotten into is this whole thing just a fly-by-night company but I did look them up on Facebook and they're there they're under golden maple artist brush on Facebook and they do have a website as I mentioned before where you can purchase all of these things separately that is to say you could purchase the fan palette with 25 paints the one that's shown up on top there above the accordion palette and these travel brushes and you, if you purchase them separately you're gonna end up paying upwards of close to fifty dollars if you buy it from their website so the Amazon listing at least in the United States is going to be a lot more affordable for you um, I really like this accordion style I like all the paints out easy to use easy for me to clean that palette I don't need to move anything if I'm going to be closing something again those paints that are close to the hinge on the fan palette are just kind of difficult to get to it I just enjoy using this one more <laughs> they're the same paints and I feel like the fan palette is really cool but if you want to enjoy it more look for the accordion one I'll put links to everything down below these brushes though hooray for caps that post I mean that is just amazing this particular set comes with three brushes you get a fine point one uh, a round and a medium round and then a flat so this fine point one you do get a lot of good detail out of it for a for a water brush but the water that's inside the cartridge 
the filament somehow absorbs your paint and sends it back up inside the cartridge. So the clean water that you need inside the cartridge ends up becoming dirty water. And these particular brushes, these three, are the only water brushes I have that do that, where the water gets dirty inside. It's never stopped me from achieving the results I want to in a painting, but it's just kind of annoying because you kind of have to change the water out of your brush cartridge more often than you want to. So there's that factor. So this artsy set, it is available today, fan form with these three brushes. You get the, the small round, which is the one I'm using now for this little painting here. Uh, you get a medium round and you also get a flat brush. Um, for small paintings, for sketchbooks, the flat brush and the medium round and the small round, that's just going to be all you need. It really is uh, a good selection of brushes, but again, as far as a water brush goes, they're not my favorite quality. The paints are acting identical to the other one, so no matter which fan palette set you get, you're going to get great paints. You're going to get paints that are easy to work with, vibrant colors, um, easy to re-wet, very cooperative and I've used this set, this one I'm using working from now, I've used it inside, I've used it outside, I've painted a lot of things from it. I will tell you I do have one painting that's sitting out and I think I painted that one in 2021, so only two years ago and it's really fading. So for sure these aren't going to give you any light fastness whatsoever. So just keep your work in a sketchbook and you'll be fine. Let's take a look at the paintings that we did. Now, obviously this one is sideways, but this is the one that I did with the fan palette and the water brush. Had no trouble doing any traditional watercolor technique. This was really effortless. And now we move on to the mountain scene. This was done with the fan palette and the travel brushes. These are the brushes that have the metal caps on them. I felt that I did have some more versatility there. And then these are those same travel brushes using the accordion palette. Um, I really like the brushes. The accordion palette is just easier for me to use. So let me talk for a quick second about that sketchbook. Oh my gosh, I am so thrilled with this sketchbook for a wood pulp paper. Um, the way that it's sized, it lifts great. The paper's really durable. You get some great texture out of it. I had no trouble with it whatsoever. I really like that sketchbook. And since I've talked about kind of a few things in this review, I want to show you what it looks like on Amazon. This is the sketchbook. I will put a link to it. It is so cute. You can get a lot of different other covers if you aren't into Sheba's. Uh, this is what the fan palette listing looks like. Uh, it's listed as travel water brush. I'll, again, I'll put a link to that one. And then here is the artsy set that I bought originally as an accordion palette, but now it looks like this on Amazon. If you are really interested in the accordion palette, here is the photo of it from AliExpress. This is the 38 set. That's what I have. It's just got a different brand. They show the person using a water brush, but I don't know if it comes with water brushes on AliExpress. I will let you guys Google that one on your own. But the bottom line is, I do think it's worth it to get some of these foldable palettes. They're fun, they're cute, the paints are vibrant. I can put up with all the negatives. I can put up with water brushes that don't work in my favorite way, caps that will not post, and paints that flake a little bit for this much fun. So that's the trade-off. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this today. And uh, if you enjoy content like this, please consider giving this a like or leaving a comment or even sharing this video with your friends because that really does help my channel. Thanks so much, you guys. I really appreciate you hanging in with me this long. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Bye now.